Hey lovelies! Okay, so I wanted to upload a very, very quick video with regards to something that's going on right now lately. Um, so first of all, I want to say thank you so much to Frank O for coming over yet again. We will have a brand new episode of our uh, of our get-togethers coming up very soon this week, and then a brand new, all new episode coming up sometime next week or the week after, once all the editing is done. But I wanted to sort of uh, put something out there. Um, so recently I lost 15 pounds and people are asking me about my diet and what I did to lose the weight. And so I need to start by saying that about a month and a half ago or so, I con I, I've not contracted, so you can't catch it because uh, it's alive in everyone. Um, uh, I had a thrush flare up, which is a yeast infection in your mouth. And unfortunately, with that yeast infection in your mouth, it can cause a lot of severe sort of side effects when it comes to your health. And so I went on an incredibly restrictive, incredibly limited diet. Um, I wasn't allowed any sugar. So no sugar, no alcohol, no yeast, no dairy. I cut that out of my diet and within I think about 10 to 12 days I had already started losing a substantial amount of weight. Um, I was still eating yogurt, I could still eat stuff like that, but my, my diet was very restrictive. So like lunches were like chicken and vegetables with no starch in them, um, things like that. So listen, and, and I wasn't working out, I haven't worked out because my ankle is still bothering me. I just wanted to put it out there that, um, you know, a lot of times weight gain is just the food you're eating. I'm not going to the gym and yet I lost 15 pounds just by changing the habits of what I eat. It's that simple. Um, I don't want you to think like I, I went on some sort of like special like cleanse or anything like that. All of those things, they're bullshit. You don't need them. You don't need them. Just start taking account of what you're putting into your system. There's so much sugar in everything these days that it's really hard. Like, you know, there's sugar in bread. There's sugar in so many things these days. It's difficult to cut it out. But I managed to do it. When I went out to restaurants, I asked what was in the food because I couldn't have certain things. Like, like I said, I wasn't allowed to have sugar. I wasn't allowed to have yeast or anything like that. So I cut those things out. I promise you, if you just start eating just a little bit healthier. And listen, you could be eating healthy and you could still be gaining weight so maybe it's a matter of the portion size right so for me what I love doing when I go to work when I love making my lunches I portion control everything so I have this like little um I have a little dish by uh Rubbermaid it's gonna show up right here somewhere I have this dish and I use it for my lunches and um I put a lot of vegetables in it. I put vegetables all on the bottom and then I put the chicken on top of that and then I just squish it down and I bring that to work with me. And I generally make about two or three portions portions at a time and uh, I just reheat it. You know, uh, a lot of people make excuses about the fact that eating healthy is too time consuming. They don't have the time for it. The reality of it is, is that a lot of times you're just maybe too tired to do it and therefore maybe exhausted and therefore maybe just a little bit lazy. Um, and this coming from someone, listen to me, I work so much now at my day job and I do so many other things that I barely have time for anything. I barely have time to take my dogs out in the morning and take them out at night without getting my YouTube videos ready and getting ready for work. I mean, this hair takes hours to do when I first style it. Come on. I barely have time to do anything and yet I manage to eat healthy. Um, cutting pop out of my diet was a really big thing. Oh. Is it laughing at me? Fucker. I bought that at my work for five bucks. It's on clearance right now at Rexall. Go buy it. Five bucks. It's regular like 20 something. It's on for like 4.96. Go get it. It's fucking awesome. Let's see it. Huh. <sighs> I'm going to have to remember to turn that off for future videos. But anyway, yeah, listen, uh, cutting pop out of my diet was a really big thing. Um, I've now choose water, uh, vitamin water. So uh, a lot of vitamin water, uh, they're sweetened with um, sucralose. Sucralose is still sugar, people. Still sugar. 
So I started drinking the orange, I believe it is, orange vitamin water, the Glacio vitamin water, uh, and it's actually sweetened with stevia, so it's totally okay for someone to drink, and it's not sugar, and you don't get the sugar high that you normally would. Um, yeah, I tried to cut out energy drinks as much as possible. Coffee, you can drink black coffee, no problem. Uh, I, it's not always the best thing, but listen, it's just, if you really want to lose the weight, if you really, really, truly want to lose the weight, then do it. You got this. You got this. Make a conscious decision. This is what I want. This is what I need to do. And you'll do it. And just, guess what? If you can't do it this time around, don't get angry with yourself. Don't get mad because you had to stop midway. Don't be any of those people. Listen, there's a million people out there that want to beat you up in your head or in their head and in your mind and physically and everything like that. Don't play into their games. Just because you couldn't do it this time doesn't make you a failure. You got this. Start small. That's all I'm asking you to do. Start small. Say, maybe say your, your end game is to lose 50 pounds. My end game was to lose 20. I'd like to be 180 pounds. That's my, that's my goal weight. That's what I want to be at is 180 pounds. Um, so I started really small with my goal. I was like, I'm going to try to maintain having at least lost five pounds for a little while. And then I noticed that once I started eating healthier and I was making meals for myself on a regular basis, I noticed that um, it just became sort of second nature to me. It's second nature. Once it becomes a habit, it's going to be so hard to break. Like my freezer is full of chicken right now because I love chicken so much and I love vegetables so much. So having had thrush and having to eat chicken and vegetables every day, I was like, ha ha, you thrush. I love chicken and vegetables. No problem. Um, so yeah, so just do that kind of stuff. Just, you know, try to eat a little better. Try to choose water over pop. Try to, um, yeah, just be positive about it. You can't lose everything in one day. If you want to lose weight, you'll lose it. And if you don't, just stop beating yourself up about it. You know, back in the 50s, the ideal body image was a woman who had more curves than a winding road on a highway. Marilyn Monroe. Now, this sort of image that we've put out there to kids and to little girls is that in order to be beautiful, you have to be stick thin. You're beautiful whatever size you are. Do you understand that? My wanting to lose weight and needing to lose weight turned out to be a health thing, and so I did it. And I'm sticking to it because I feel better now. But whether I was 14 pounds heavier or whether I'm 20 pounds lighter, I'm still beautiful. It's me that's beautiful. Me. Not just this. Me. I'm the beautiful person. And so are you. So are you. If you need some motivation or you need some help or you have some questions, you just don't know how to do it, message me. I'm here for you. We got this. You want to lose weight? I'll help you. All I ask is that you be accountable. If you want to do it, we'll do it. I will invest my time in helping you. Because I believe in you. I just hope that you believe in yourself. All right? Okay, on that note, I am going to say what I always say, and that is thank you. I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. It I can't believe that you all watch my videos, really. I can't believe it. It means, it means a lot. I thank you. And I truly and honestly hope that you will. And remember, don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe.